Welcome to Mayor TV, friends. To stay up to date with our latest content, please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, press the notification bell, and drop your comments. What is it that you have done? Because you want fame? Because you want to be a star? Because you want to be popular? Because you want to be loved? Because you want power? You have done things that are unspoken. And you think your case is beyond redemption. No. Don't despair of Allah's mercy. He can forgive you if today you turn to him in sincere repentance. Your case is not hopeless. Your file is not closed. No. What is it? Name it. Your case is not beyond redemption. There is no sin Allah cannot forgive provided you turn to him in sincere repentance. If you will only repent sincerely, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to convert all of the sins that you have ever committed into virtue. You may not understand this, but let me break it down for you. You have become insolvent. Let me say it, you have become bankrupt. You declare bankruptcy because your the, the level of your debt is so high that there is no way you can pay back. Even if they sell you, huh? if they take you to the market and sell you, um, the price will not be able to repay the debt that you owe. Is it? You have taken bank loan. You have taken personal loan. You have uh, mortgage your properties. You have what is it? You are so neck deep in debt that your your situation appears, as far as you are concerned, to be hopeless. Is it? Now, the black tidings that I bring to you is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying. If you come and you turn in sincere repentance, and I will presently tell you what repentance, what sincere repentance is all about. But let me tell you what Allah will do. He said, for those who sincerely repent, Ulaika yubadilullahu sajiatihim hasanat, those people, Allah will convert all their evil deeds into good deeds. Imagine a situation when you, where you have a loan. And let me just give an example. You have taken a loan of $250 million from a bank. And you, 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 you sank it into a project and the project failed. We have seen examples. The most recent, very tragic, and um, uh, 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 very, very hard touching is um, the high-rise luxury flats uh, in Ikoi that collapsed. You know how much loan. You know how much investment has gone into it. For those who, uh, you know, uh, lost their lives, uh, may their souls find rest. Now, let us imagine that you are that investor, and everything before your eyes just went down the drain. All hopes were dashed. No 
government can 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 do bailout for such a person? No, no bailouts. But that is where a lie is different. Now imagine you take a situation like this before Allah. Allah will convert all of the loans into deposit for you. That account that is in red, all right? Red will turn to green. And green is the sign, the green light is the sign of um, permission. You can go, you are now good to go. Your credit rating, rating has now been enhanced. Your life, the way you run it, is such that so many people have become bankrupt as a result of sin. If today they sit and reflect and go back to Allah, remorseful, penitent, sincerely, Allah will forgive them and it is like one, it, Allah is giving them debt forgiveness. When it's okay now, you are, you are now good. You are no longer a debtor. You are free from debt. We are forgiving your debt. You know a human being can do that. No, it is very rare. But only Allah can do the next thing that I'm going to tell you now. What is the next thing? Allah will now, right? Having forgiven your debts, Allah will now credit your account to the tune of the debt that you owe. I don't, I, I, I'm, I, I don't know whether there are business people here, uh, whether there are investors here who understand the language that I'm speaking. Having been neck deep in debt, the first thing you enjoy is debt forgiveness, total debt forgiveness. Not unilater unilateral repudiation of debt. No, but total debt forgiveness. That's one. Two, now you are now credited with the same amount of which you are indebted. No more debt to service. No more debt to repay. But now you are three times richer than you used to be and without a debt. How would you like that? Allah can even give you better than that. Allah can give you better than that. Are you an artist? An artist. What is it that you do? You smoke you go? You drink ogogoro? You even smoke bush. You steam powder. You booze. Alright? You have painted the whole country red. No, how how bad will it be? How 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 much worse will it be? And today, just today, this Ramadan, you take advantage of this moment and you sincerely repent to Allah. Allah will not only forgive all the ego that you have you have smoked, all the cocaine and all the sniffables that you have sniffed, all the green and, 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 and brown bottles that you have taken, and bottles that I don't know their color. All of the kind of drinks that you have taken, it doesn't matter. Allah will redeem you. Allah will accept you. Allah will clean out, blot out all of this from your account and you will be like new, like the day you were born, sinless, pure, immaculate. That is what it means. 
that's what Allah is trying to tell you in Quran chapter 39 verse 53 Inna Allah yaqfiru dhuruba jami'a Allah forgives all sins Inna huwa al ghafuru rahim He is um, of returning with mercy He is all forgiving Again in Quran chapter 12 verse 53 so that uh, you will know you will be reassured that Allah Taala is aware of who you are because he created you uh, see it is Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam he, he faced temptation just like you and I face every day you remember Yusuf in the Quran first temptation um, you know he almost he almost got into lechery with another man's wife um, he almost got into an amorous relationship illicitly for that matter but then Yusuf said لَوْلَا أَنْرَهَا وَلَكَدَ أَمَّتْ بِهِ وَهَمَّ بِهَا you know um, Yusuf was attracted uh, at a point just like the woman was also attracted to him. He was also attracted to her. But for the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intervened and saved him from falling into temptation. So inherently we are created with temptations, ability to fall into temptation. And that is why in Quran chapter 12, verse 53, Yusuf is saying, I do not absolve myself of error. I have not absolved myself of all errors. Inna nafsala abmaratu bisu. The soul, the human soul, the human mind is wound to command evil. Everyone will be tempted if they are sufficiently exposed. All right. If you are alone, and you are not aware that there, there are cameras watching you or there are eyes watching you, you could do things and you have done things. And you are still doing things in the privacy um, you know, of your, of your room, in, the, in your comfort zone, in, in, your, in, your, in your safe havens, safe havens, you do things that you don't want people to see you doing. Yes, this is human. I'm not saying it is right. I'm not saying it is justified. I'm not saying it should continue. I am saying that the, the, the tendency is for human beings to do this. Um, only Allah knows what some people do in private, even in the month of Ramadan. Say we were all fasting, Abi. The Allah accept our fasting. But it is only Allah who knows those of us that are fasting. After all, nobody can monitor us. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our own conscience that are our monitors. So I want us to understand that we are not angels. Allah, if He had willed, He would have created us as angels. Angels are incapable of sin. They don't have capacity to sin. Just like angels do not eat, angels do not drink, angels do not sleep, angels. special beings. They 
يشربون ولا ينامون ولا يعصون الله ما أمرهم وهم عباد مكرمون they don't eat they don't drink all right they do not sleep they don't have the capacity to disobey Allah that you and I have 